I'm Sophie Medlin, and you might recognize me from Channel 4's Gut Health Show, Know Your Sh where I proudly led the clinical team in diagnosing and treating poo problems. Dietitian Sophie Medlin. Can you tell me what your farts smell like? Sulfur. Yeah. As a consultant dietitian and head of nutrition research at Heights, I spend a good chunk of my time immersed in discussions about colons, rectums, and yes, you guessed it, poo. So if you've ever wondered about the peculiarities of poop and you want answers to questions that might ordinarily make you blush, such as, why does your poo come in different shades of brown? Are men's farts truly more smelly than women's? And why is Dan sitting on the toilet wrong? Am I? Then stick around because it's time for a journey through the intriguing world of excrement. Welcome to Poo School. Would it surprise you to know that one in 400 Brits poo less than once a week and 13% of people suffer so much with their bowel and their gut health that it actually affects their day-to-day -day life. It can stop them from doing normal things, it can hurt, and it can cause all kinds of problems. Not ideal. Even still, most people feel uncomfortable talking about poo. They get poo shy. But not me, I've been talking about poo for a living for 16 years. Because we're poo shy, most people don't know what's normal or not normal when it comes to pooing and gut health. So in this video, we're going to make sure you go away feeling confident that you know how healthy your poo is. First up, how often should you be going? The normal amount to poo is between three times per day and three times per week. Yes, you heard it correctly, three times a day. But most people would benefit from going one to two times per day. A study revealed that the average Brit poos at least once a day. The time it takes for something to pass from your mouth to coming out as poo varies massively from 10 hours to three days. But again, ideally our transit time should be on the faster side. Transit time is how long it takes from mouth to toilet. You can test your transit time by eating marker foods like sweet corn or beetroot and timing how long it takes to come out the other side. Lots of people find that when they eat, they need to poo. Sometimes people think this means that the food they've just eaten is coming straight out of their bum. This actually isn't the case. It's just that the act of eating stimulates bowel contractions, pushing your poo, usually from the previous day, along your bowel and out of your bum. So what should it look and feel like? Poo should always be soft and easy to pass. If it's hard and difficult to pass and you're straining to push it out on the toilet, you're constipated. If your poo is liquid and you're rushing to the toilet, you've got diarrhea. You're aiming for a poo that is smooth and sausage or snake shaped and holds together in the toilet water. We want people to pass quite a lot of poo at each sitting. This is a sign that your diet is high in fiber and that you're getting it all out at each sitting. Sometimes people don't get it all out, which can feel uncomfortable. And in the industry, we call this an incomplete evacuation. And there's lots we can do to help with this in clinic. Your poo should be mid brown color, again, like a sausage or like a conker. Your feces color is the result of a chemical called stevcobalin. That chemical ends up in your poo in two ways. It's a byproduct of the hemoglobin in broken down red blood cells. And it also comes from bile, the fluid secreted in your intestines to help to digest fat. Pale yellow or clay colored poos are a sign that you might not be digesting everything in your diet. And you should chat to your doctor about this. Poos that are very dark in color can be caused by taking iron supplements. Although it's a little more rare, they can also be caused by bleeding in your stomach. So you should always tell your doctor if you think this applies to you or if you don't feel like what you're passing is normal. Green poos usually happen when you're ill with food poisoning or a stomach bug, but they can also be caused by blue food coloring, so don't be alarmed. So we should be going a couple of times daily and they should be smooth and sausage shaped. But did you know that one of the biggest problems when it comes to pooing comfortably is how we sit on the toilet when we're doing it? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're probably sitting on the toilet wrong. I know, how can anyone sit on the toilet wrong? You're probably imagining someone facing backwards and thinking, not me. You want to make sure that your knees are above your hips and lean forward with your elbows on your knees. Most people, especially women, will need a stool under their feet to achieve this position. Toilets being too high for average women may in part account for why twice as many women than men suffer from constipation. Thanks, patriarchy. Another question I get all the time is how should poo smell? Newsflash, your poo shouldn't smell terrible. Good bacteria in the gut don't produce smelly gas or foul-smelling poo. I'm not saying your poo won't smell at all, but very smelly gas or poo usually means you're eating too much animal protein, not enough plants, you're not digesting all of your food properly, or that the balance between good and bad bacteria is a bit off. On the topic of smells, yes, it's normal to fart. Despite what anyone says, we all do it. 
On average, humans fart 15 times per day. Again, this shouldn't be smelly, and if it is, you definitely want to look at your diet and take care of your microbiome. And sorry girls, there's no evidence that men are more smelly than women. Bacteria that are less positive for our overall health produce methane and sulfur when they ferment our leftover food. These guys like to ferment animal protein, so too much animal protein in your diet and not enough plants can lead to an overpopulation of bad bacteria, which will produce smelly wind, and that can feel a little bit embarrassing. If you've got any concerns Concerns about your poo, here are some red flag symptoms that mean you need to see the doc ASAP. Number one, if you have a change in your bowel habit. For example, if you've changed from being a twice a day kind of guy to a twice a week kind of guy, or you usually go on alternate days and now it's twice a day, or you're suddenly getting diarrhea or constipation that isn't normal for you, you need to see your GP if this change continues for two weeks. Blood in your poo. If you ever see blood in your poo, go straight to the docs. I don't care if you think it's just because you did a big poo or you might have piles. Blood in poo means straight to the docs, please. I've seen patients with this symptom dismiss it and end up with tumours the size of grapefruits. We don't mean to scare you, but it's such an important thing. Tummy pain or a lump in your tummy. If this is you, again, get to the doc and get it checked out. It's always better to be safe than sorry. There are really simple tests for the above symptoms to find out what's going on. So don't be scared that you're going to end up immediately with a finger up your bum or a camera up your bum. You might well do, but this isn't a good enough reason not to go. So those are the basics of poo. It's not too embarrassing when we get into it, is it? Everyone poos and gut health should be a priority for us all. We spend so much time and money on creams and serums for our face. We should be extending the same love and care for our guts too. If you have any questions, and I imagine you do, put them in the comments and we'll answer them.